Many curious fans have been wondering about the whereabouts of the What's Happening cast since the show's cancellation. The ABC sitcom series aired from August 5, 1976 to April 28, 1979, depicting the lives of three working-class African-American teenagers living in Watts, Los Angeles. Some cast members went on to become movie stars, while others sadly passed away due to illness. Here's what they've been up to. Ernest Thomas as Roger Raj Thomas. Roger Everett Gerald Raj Thomas, the main character of the show, is a teenager living in Watts with his divorced mother Mabel and his younger sister Dee. Born in Gary, Indiana, Thomas began his acting career on Broadway, appearing in the 1974 revival of Love for Love and the 1975 revival of The Member of the Wedding, both starring Glenn Close. In the fall of 1975, he landed a role on an episode of The Jeffersons. During the taping, he learned of an audition for a sitcom loosely based on the 1975 film Cooley High. Throughout the show's run, Thomas took on other film and TV projects, including Beretta, The Brady Bunch Hour, and the film A Piece of the Action with Sidney Poitier and Bill Cosby. During the first season of What's Happening, Thomas was one of the final two actors considered for the lead role of Kunta Kinte in the miniseries Roots, a role that eventually went to LeVar Burton. Thomas went on to play a smaller role as Kai Luba in the miniseries. After a six-year break from TV and film acting, Thomas reprised his role as Roger Raj Thomas in the sequel What's Happening Now. The show aired in first-run syndication from 1985 to 1988. Since its cancellation, Thomas has guest starred on numerous TV dramas and sitcoms, including In the Heat of the Night, which co-starred his TV wife Anne Marie Johnson from What's Happening Now. The Parenthood, Martin, starring his What's Happening Now, co-star Martin Lawrence, Soul Food, The Steve Harvey Show, All About the Andersons, and more recently, Just Jordan. Thomas has mentioned in multiple interviews that he had a romantic relationship with actress Kim Cattrall during her time as a student at the American Academy of Dramatic Arts in the 1970s. Thomas has an eye condition called amblyopia. Fred Barry as Freddie Rerun Stubbs. Barry gained widespread fame for his portrayal of Freddie Rerun Stubbs on the ABC sitcom What's Happening which aired from 1976 to 1979 when he was in his mid-twenties. The role was initially intended for a skinny white actor. The character was nicknamed Rerun because he repeatedly had to retake his classes during summer school. Rerun became one of the standout characters on the show, known for his trademark red beret and suspenders, along with the dance moves Barry had perfected during his time with the lockers. In 1985, Barry reprised his role in the sequel series, What's Happening Now? However, he was fired before the end of the first season due to a salary dispute where Barry demanded more money than the rest of the cast. Throughout his life, Barry struggled with drug and alcohol issues. In a 1996 interview with People magazine, he said, I was a millionaire by the time I was 29, but then the stress of success got to me. The fat jokes got to me and I got heavily into drugs and alcohol. He admitted that his experimentation with drugs and alcohol began in his teenage years, and his increasing success allowed him to afford more substances. Barry attempted suicide three times but eventually recovered, dedicating his time to visiting various churches. In the 1990s, he became a motivational speaker and Baptist minister, losing 100 LBs after being diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. Barry was married six times to four different women, marrying the first two twice each. He had three children, DeShannon, Portia, and Freddie, who goes by Fred Barry Jr. Born with the middle name Allen, Barry later legally changed his middle name to Rerun due to the widespread public association with his character on What's Happening. On October 21, 2003, Barry was found dead at his Los Angeles home, where he was recovering from a stroke. 
The cause of death was listed as natural causes. Shirley Hemphill as Shirley Wilson. Shirley Wilson is a waitress at the local soda shop. An aspiring stand-up comedian, Hemphill sent a cassette tape of one of her comedy routines to Flip Wilson. Wilson was so impressed that he sent her a cassette recorder and a dozen roses. He also invited Hemphill to visit the set of The Flip Wilson Show. After the visit, Hemphill returned to her job in Asheville, but decided to quit and pursue a career in comedy. She took a bus to Los Angeles, got a waitressing job during the day, and performed at the comedy store at night. After What's Happening was canceled, Hemphill auditioned for the role of the cook on Archie Bunker's place, but the part went to Ann Mira. The day after losing that role, Hemphill was offered the lead in her own sitcom, One in a Million. She played Shirley Simmons, a taxi driver who inherits a large corporation and fortune from a customer. The series premiered on ABC on January 8, 1980, but didn't attract enough viewers and was canceled in June 1980. Hemphill spent much of the early 1980s performing in nightclubs across the U.S. and making occasional TV guest appearances on shows like The Love Boat and Trapper John, M.D. In 1985, she was invited to co-star in the revival of What's Happening, titled What's Happening Now, which ran in syndication from 1985 to 1988. After the show ended, she returned to the nightclub circuit and made occasional appearances on 90s sitcoms like Martin and the Wayans' Brother Ballers. In 1993, Hemphill made her film debut in CB4, starring Chris Rock. Two years later, she co-starred in her second film, Shoot the Moon, alongside Whitney Anderson. On December 10, 1999, Hemphill was found dead at her home in West Covina, California, at the age of 52. Her body was discovered by a gardener who saw her lying on her bedroom floor through a window. An autopsy revealed that Hemphill died of kidney failure. Haywood Nelson as Dwayne Nelson. Dwayne Clemens Nelson is the youngest member of the trio. Haywood Nelson has been part of the entertainment industry for over four decades. Born in New York, he started his career at six years old, appearing in numerous principal on-camera and voiceover national commercials, including Lavoris, Campbell's Soup, Libby's, Polaroid, Hot Wheels, Rock'em Sock'em Robots, Johnny Lightning, Aurora AFX, Kodak, Duncan Hines, Milk, Burger King, and Dean Witter. Nelson co-starred in several feature films, such as If You Give a Dance, You Gotta Pay the Band, Mixed Company, This Property is Condemned, and had a featured role in Evil Speak. He also spent two years on Broadway in Thieves. Nelson guest starred on Kojak in the episode The Godson as Bobby Moore. At 14, he guest starred in the television series Sanford and Son as Whitman Mayo's character Grady's grandson, and then acted in the spin off series Grady in 1975. In 1976, at the age of 16, Haywood landed the role of Dwayne in the television series Cooley High, which became the ABC hit series What's Happening for Toy Productions. As a teenage heartthrob on a popular TV series, Nelson became one of the first black teen idols. After three seasons, he had a short stint on the television series The White Shadow for MTM Enterprises. Nelson's studies in architectural design and electronics engineering were interrupted when the cast of What's Happening reunited for three seasons of syndication in the series continuation What's Happening Now for Columbia Pictures Television, where he also served as technical director. Later, Haywood appeared in an urban dramatic Broadway production at New York's Lincoln Center, Alice Tully Hall appeared as himself in the Paramount film Dickie Roberts, and had a role on The Parkers. He is a devout Scientologist, Thalmus Rasulala as Bill Thomas. Bill Thomas is Mabel's ex-husband and the father of Roger and Dee. Born Jack Crowder in Miami, Florida, and a graduate of the University of Redlands, he appeared in numerous films and made guest appearances on various television shows. He also took part in several classes at Shaw University, 
a historically black university in Raleigh, North Carolina, in the late 1970s. His notable roles in black exploitation films include Sidney Lord Jones in Cool Breeze, 1972, Dr. Gordon Thomas in Blackula, 1972, and Robert Daniels in Willie Dynamite, 1974. Additionally, he served as the assistant director for The Slams, 1973. He appeared in the first season episode of Saturday Night Live hosted by Richard Pryor, playing a priest in the Exorcist II sketch. On Broadway, under his original name Jack Crowder, Rasolala played Cornelius Hackle in the hit musical Hello, Dolly. He was a leading member of the all-black cast, starring Pearl Bailey and Cab Calloway. The Bailey Company opened on Broadway on November 12, 1967, and their performance was recorded by RCA Victor for a best-selling cast album featuring Rasulala in several songs. Rasulala married Sherlyn Mozingo on November 6, 1984. He passed away on October 9, 1991, from a heart attack in Albuquerque, New Mexico. He was survived by his wife Sherlyn and their four children. He was previously married to Martha Roberts, with whom he had three children. They divorced in 1977. His final film role was as General of Fear in the comedy film Mom and Dad Save the World. He died shortly after completing his scenes, and the film, released a year after his death, is dedicated to his memory. Rasulala's death occurred two days before that of actor Red Fox, who also died of a heart attack, and with whom Rasulala guest starred on Sanford and Son. In that episode, he solicited funds for heart attack prevention and awareness. However, Judgment, also known as Hits, can also be considered Rasulala's last film as it was released posthumously but made during his lifetime. Mabel King as Mabel Mama Thomas. Mabel Mama Thomas is Raj and Dee's divorced mother. She began acting in her mid-30s, in 1966, playing the role of Maria in the national touring play of Porgy and Bess. The following year, she took on the role of Ernestina in the Broadway musical A Comedy, Hello, Dolly. In 1972, she appeared in the musical film Don't Play Us Cheap, which was released the following year after its Broadway stage play performance. That same year, she portrayed the Queen of Mercia in the horror film Ganja and Hess. In January 1975, she starred as Eveline, the Wicked Witch of the West, in the all-African-American cast of the Broadway musical The Wiz. This role earned her a Drama Desk Award nomination for Outstanding Featured Actress in a Musical. Her performance in The Wiz garnered significant attention, leading to roles in the films The Bingo Long Traveling All-Stars and Motor Kings, alongside Billy D. Williams and James Earl Jones, and Scott Joplin, with Billy D. Williams and Clifton Davis. In June 1980, King returned to the stage, starring in the Broadway musical It's So Nice to be Civilized. Unfortunately, the show performed poorly and closed after eight performances. During this period, she signed with Hollywood agent Reuben Malaret, who negotiated her reprised role of Mama Johnson in the made-for-TV movie The Jerk 2, 1984. Her last two movie roles were in Scrooge, 1988, starring Bill Murray, and Dead Men Don't Die, 1990, starring Elliot Gould. King was married to Melvin King from June 1967 until September 1989. She had one child, a son named Larry Jr., with Larry Banks. Larry Jr. died in 1996. King was a staunch conservative Republican and a strong supporter of Ronald Reagan's presidency. King was diabetic, and in 1986, one of her toes was amputated due to the disease. In 1990, she suffered a stroke and entered the Motion Picture and Television Country House and Hospital in Woodland Hills, California, effectively ending her professional career. In 1991, her diabetes led to the amputation of her left leg, and in 1994, her right leg was also amputated. King eventually lost one of her arms to diabetes as well. She passed away on November 9, 1999, at the age of 66. Fritzy Burr as Miss Collins. Mrs. Gertrude Collins is the boy's high school instructor, 
A couple of years later, her mother would marry again and have two additional daughters, Shirley and Thelma, with her second spouse, Benjamin Steinberg. In the late 1930s, the family relocated from Philadelphia to Newark, New Jersey, where Freda spent her childhood years near the New York theater scene. Eventually, her stepfather legally adopted her, and she officially became Freda Steinberg, retaining a slightly altered Burr as her stage surname. Burr continued to work regularly in small theaters, dinner theaters, and touring productions of musicals like Fiddler on the Roof, where she played variously as Yente and Golde, Tevye's enduring wife. After relocating to Hollywood, she secured consistent roles as a character actress in films and television. Burr was married to Aaron Heyman until his passing in 1995. She passed away from natural causes in Fort Myers, Florida, on January 17, 2003, at the age of 78, Debbie Morgan as Diane. Diane Harris is another schoolmate of Roger, Dwayne, and Rerun. In 1979, she garnered praise for her portrayal of Alex Haley's great aunt Elizabeth Harvey on the 1979 miniseries Roots, The Next Generations, and her guest role as Curtis Jackson's former girlfriend turned sex worker on The White Shadow. Her most prominent role was Angie Baxter Hubbard on the daytime drama All My Children, a character she originated from January 1982 to July 1990. Her depiction of Angie resonated deeply with many African-American viewers nationwide. Angie and her romantic partner, Jesse Hubbard, Darnell Williams, became one of the first African-American supercouples on daytime television dramas. In 1989, Morgan received the Daytime Emmy Award for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Drama Series, which she shared with Nancy Lee Gron from Santa Barbara. She and Williams also co-hosted a music video program called New York Hot Tracks in the mid-1980s. In 2017, Morgan appeared in the Marvel miniseries The Defenders as Dolores. The following year, she had a recurring role in the BET drama series The Quad. In 2019, she starred in the Netflix movie Sex Tuplets alongside Marlon Wayans. She co-starred with Kelly Rowland in the Lifetime film Merry Little Christmas and its sequels. In 2021, she joined the cast of Lee Daniels' primetime soap opera Our Kind of People opposite Yaya da Costa. Morgan was later cast in the drama film Divorce in the Black, written and directed by Tyler Perry. Morgan has been married four times and does not have children. Her first marriage was to Charles Weldon from 1980 until 1984. In 1989, Morgan married actor Charles S. Dutton, divorcing in 1994. From 1997 until 2000, Morgan was married to photographer Don Thompson. Morgan has been married to Jeffrey Winston since June 2009, Theodore Wilson as Al Dunbar. Actor Theodore Wilson appeared in three episodes of What's Happening, portraying different roles. He began his acting career in the black exploitation film Cotton Comes to Harlem in 1970. The next year, Wilson left New York City and relocated to Los Angeles to pursue his acting ambitions. He debuted in a two-episode stint as Hawthorne Dooley on the television series The Waltons. In 1973, Wilson landed the role of High Strung on the CBS sitcom Rollout, which was canceled after airing 12 episodes. The following year, Wilson was cast as Earl Chambers, a postal worker, on the sitcom That's My Mama. The show ran for two seasons on ABC. Wilson also starred in national television commercials for Amco in the 1970s, portraying a character named Walter T. In a memorable appearance, Wilson played CWO2 Martin H. Williams, a helicopter pilot and friend of Trapper and Hawkeye, in the season three episode of Mass H, titled The General Flipped at Dawn, 1974. The latter two children were with actress Joan Pringle, Wilson's co-star during the second season of That's My Mama. Pringle was designated executrix of Wilson's estate when he passed away in 1991. On July 21, 1991, Wilson died from complications of a stroke at Cedars-Sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles at the age of 47. 
he had undergone open-heart surgery several years prior to his death. Sorrel Book as Mr. Finley. Sorrel Book portrayed a college basketball enthusiast who attempts to manipulate Snake in the third season episode Basketball Brain. Book earned an Emmy nomination for his role in Dr. Kildare in the episode What's God to Julius? He featured in an installment of Mission, Impossible, during the inaugural season in 1966. Book also appeared in early episodes of Mass H, portraying General Barker in Requiem for a Lightweight and Chief Surgeon Who, the latter marking the introduction of Corporal Klinger, whom Book's character had previously encountered. He held a recurring part in All in the Family as Mr. Prendergast of the Tool and Die Company. Book's most renowned role was as Boss Hogg in The Dukes of Hazard, the comically malevolent adversary of Bo and Luke Duke. The show aired on CBS for seven seasons, spanning from 1979 to 1985. It inspired an animated spin-off, The Dukes, 1983, two reunion television specials, following Book's passing, where Boss Hogg's character was also deemed deceased, a theatrical film, 2005, and The Dukes of Hazard: The Beginning, a 2007 TV movie. In 1958, Book married Miranda Knickerbocker, then a senior at Barnard College and daughter of journalist Hubert Renfro Knickerbocker. They had two children before divorcing in 1973. Sorrel Book passed away on February 11, 1994, due to colorectal cancer in Sherman Oaks, California. Chip Fields as Donna. Actress Chip Fields appeared in What's Happening. In two different roles, Fields began her career as a vocalist. She joined Ronnie Spector as a Ronette in 1973 and released two singles for Buddha Records. Fields started her acting journey with a minor role in the 1974 movie Claudine. She had various supporting roles and guest spots on television. She portrayed an unmarried mother opposite Patty Weaver in the NBC soap opera Days of Our Lives. Also in the 1970s, she played the neglectful birth mother of Millicent Penny Gordon Woods, Janet Jackson, on the sitcom Good Times. From 1978 to 1979, she portrayed Rita Conway in the brief-lived The Amazing Spider-Man TV series. Rita Conway served as J. Jonah Jameson's assistant, paralleling the character of Glory Grant from the 1970s comics. She took on the role of Laverne, mother to the character Regine, portrayed by her real-life daughter on Living Single. Field served as a consultant for the Parkers, Zenon, girl of the 21st century, living single, and was a dialogue coach for the film Menace to Society. She also directed episodes of the popular UPN sitcoms One on One, All of Us, Girlfriends, The Parkers, and episodes of Romeo, Just Jordan, Hannah Montana, Tyler Perry's House of Pain, and Meet the Browns, Irene Cara as Maria. Irene Cara portrays Maria, reruns potential immigrant bride in the episode titled Rerun Gets Married. Cara has appeared in Broadway and off-Broadway productions, starting with Maggie Flynn alongside Shirley Jones and Jack Cassidy. Early in her career, she was one of the final contestants in the Little Miss America pageant. She also performed in Via Galactica alongside Raul Julia, Ain't Misbehavin' and The Me Nobody Knows, which received an Obie Award. Kara originated the role of Daisy Allen on the 1970s daytime soap opera Love of Life. She later starred as Angela in the romantic thriller Aaron Loves Angela, followed by her iconic role as the lead character in Sparkle. In 2005, Kara released a dance single titled Forever My Love on the compilation album Gay Happening Volumen 12. Kara was a member of Hot Caramel a band she founded in 1999. Their album, Irene Cara Presents Hot Caramel, was released in 2011. Cara appeared on season two of CMT's reality show Gone Country. Cara married stuntman and film director Conrad Palmasano in Los Angeles on April 13, 1986. The couple did not have children and divorced in 1991. Kara passed away from arteriosclerotic and hypertensive heart disease, exacerbated by hypercholesterolemia at her residence on November 25, 
2022, at the age of 63. At the time of her death, Cara was living in Largo, Florida, and maintained a secondary residence in Newport Ritchie, where her production company, Caramel Productions, was based. Tim Reed as Dr. Claymore Actor Tim Reed appeared as Dr. Claymore in the episode titled It's All in Your Head. Reed began his career on the short-lived The Richard Pryor Show. He gained fame for his role as DJ Venus Flytrap on the popular CBS sitcom WKRP in Cincinnati, which remains one of his most recognized TV roles. Reed portrayed Lieutenant Marcel Proust, Downtown Brown, episodes 43-127, on the CBS detective series Simon & Simon. In 1988, Reed received an award from viewers for Quality Television Awards as Best Actor in a Quality Comedy Series for his work on Frank's Place. That same year, he also won an Image Award for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Comedy Series. Reed portrayed the adult Mike Hanlon in the 1990 television miniseries adaptation of Stephen King's epic horror novel, It. He appeared as Sergeant Ray Bennett of the Seacouver Police Department in three episodes of Highlander, the series, during its first season. Reed had a prominent role in the series Sister, Sister as Ray Campbell throughout its six-season run. On April 13, 2009, Reed reunited with former co-star Tamara Mowry on the short-lived ABC family series Roommates, playing the character Mr. Daniels. He had a recurring role on that 70s show as William Barnett. In 1966, Reed married Rita Ann Sykes. They divorced on May 9, 1980. They have two children together, Timothy the Seth, born 1968, and Tori Reed, born 1971. On December 4, 1982, he married actress Daphne Maxwell Reed. In July 2011, Reed was appointed to the board of directors of the American Civil War Center at Tredegar Ironworks. On May 10, 2014, Reed was awarded an honorary doctorate from Virginia Commonwealth University for his numerous exceptional contributions following his commencement address. During the 1980s and 1990s, Reed served on the advisory board of the National Student Film Institute. A native of Virginia, Reed resides in Glen Sheila, Portsmouth, Virginia. Danielle Spencer as D. Thomas. Danielle Spencer portrayed D. Thomas, the mischievous young girl with a strong love for money, willing even to resort to blackmail to get it. On September 6, 1977, during the filming of an episode in the second season titled Trial and Error, Spencer and her stepfather Tim Pelt were involved in a serious car accident. The accident left Spencer in a coma for three weeks and tragically resulted in Pelt's death as he tried to shield her from harm. Spencer has no memory of the crash and underwent six months of recovery with intensive physical therapy. Following the show's cancellation in 1979, Spencer and her mother temporarily relocated to Africa. Upon returning, she pursued a degree in veterinary medicine at the University of California, Davis, a path inspired by her late stepfather. As reruns of the 65 episodes of What's Happening performed strongly in syndication, surpassing its original ratings in some markets, a sequel series titled What's Happening Now was launched in 1985. Spencer reprised her role as D intermittently throughout the sequel's three-season run while attending college. She graduated and became a member of the Delta Sigma Theta sorority during her sophomore year. After What's Happening Now ended in 1988, Spencer attended Tuskegee University Veterinary School in Tuskegee, Alabama, and earned her veterinary degree in 1996. Spencer married Gary Fields, a marketing manager who also served as her publicist and manager in Marina del Rey, California, in 1999. They divorced in 2013. In 2004, Spencer began experiencing chronic pain and balance issues due to spinal stenosis resulting from her 1977 accident. Surgery to address the condition left her partially paralyzed for eight months. Spencer underwent rehabilitation at the Kessler Institute for Rehabilitation in New Jersey, where she credits the Institute with helping to restore her quality of life. As time moves forward, we see that life has its way of writing its own script. 
They may be tragically old, as some might say, but their talent and contributions to entertainment remain timeless. Thank you for joining me on this journey down memory lane. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more nostalgic updates. Until next time, take care.